Okay, so here's the first unboxing that I've got for an actual meter. I got in contact with a guy who is getting rid of a lot of his collection, who had been collecting and restoring for years, and a couple opportunities came my way that I just couldn't pass up. So I have... You can ignore the uh, white cord. That's my microphone. We're doing this on a budget here. It's just a phone and an uh, uh, iPhone cord and headphones. So we'll see what we can do here see what we find in the box and yeah let's go ahead and open this up I loosened the sides but I have not seen which one is in here I've only seen pictures of this because the guy I got it from didn't know how to do FaceTime or anything so let's see what we have got here pretty excited to see which one we have in here so it looks like that's the base down there Covered in bubble wrap. This thing's been sitting in the corner of the kitchen for like two hours while I cooked. Ah. Yeah, so I got something here. I didn't think there was a separate piece that came with it, so I'm not sure what that is. Right, let me sort through here quick and see. That's all packing materials. Okay. So we'll put this down. And now let's adjust the camera a little bit. So you can see exactly what I'm opening up. Moving in a little closer here. Here it goes. Okay. We're going to open the big one first. I don't think I need the knife. There we are. Hit the bottom. Looks pretty well packed. I think I see a foam block around the top there. I like that. Keep it safe as possible. I think I know which one this is, but maybe I'm wrong. There's two of them. One that's rare, and one that is rarer than rare. So, I didn't exactly get a deal on these. Let me adjust my microphone here. But sometimes when these things come along, it's just you take the opportunity or you wait another five years to get one from what I've heard. And even though I've only been collecting these for about a year, the opportunity came. So, put this guy over here. And here we go. Sounds like there's some coins in there. Oh, that is quite nice. Some of you might know what this one, well, the, the title's gonna give it away. What am I talking about? All right, so we'll put that there. I have never seen one of these before. Wow. How does it look on the camera? Oh yeah, you can see that. Not sure the plastic wrap does anything. I do bubble wrap usually surrounded by newspapers, tight down newspapers, or the really thick paper. I like that paper that we can there. Wow, would you look at that? Hopefully you can see that and there's not a big shine on it. I forgot to grab some coins. We're gonna have to grab those in a second here. And there must be a piece of tape here that I can rip off. All right, let's see if we can just rip this. There we go. We're almost in. I see. So this is the bigger box because of the stand that it's on. But this is definitely display quality, so I understand why it was there. There we are. One... Vogelsong parking meter. Should be in perfect functional shape. See there, it's a 
one cent for 12 minute, five cents for 60 minutes, so it's a one five. And yeah, I don't know if this was like a design flaw of these. I know they didn't make all that many of them. I have no idea what years Vogelsong was even in uh, business. But if you think about it, you know, you got to get a whole new casing if you want to change what it takes or what your hours are. Unlike a Duncan Miller and a lot of other ones where you can actually just, you know, change out a plate. These were stamped into the back. And I love that hammer tone paint with the red lettering. It's just got a really great look to it. This has got the original hammer tone paint. And as you can see, she's in pretty nice shape. We got some, you know, a couple of spots in the back there where it was laid somewhere and kind of got scraped about. But... The ball is there, the indicator is up on top. She's an absolute beaut. So let's see how that looks on the camera. We'll move that up a little bit. And I will be right back as I go get a coin to try this sucker out. Probably should have remembered that earlier. A little dark there but I think you can still see it so I guess if it's a 1-5 this should work drop a penny in there she goes now I don't hear it ticking but I'll have to watch this and see if it comes back up interesting mechanism let's drop one more heck of it drop a nickel in and then I can watch it as it goes. Really interested to get in and take a look at the mechanism in this. So there we are. Should be ticking down. I will open it up later and probably make a different video about that. So it should be in frame here. Oh, I need to be up a little more. Be in frame and see what else we have here. Maybe this is the key in it. And forgive me that I don't have that much to talk about as far as neat things about this particular model because I don't really know anything about them. I just know that they're really rare. Ah, this is looking like keys to me. So maybe that's, oh, so that's your uh, coin tray, I think. So that's what it looks like. It's gonna be fun to open this up and Take a look at how they work. Okay, so where the heck is the little, uh, oh, that's right there. Let's try this then. There we are. And yeah, this must be the coin tray. Maybe he did that so it wasn't rattling around in there on the trip here. In which case I just, ah, yeah, so that is your original key, right there, your mounting, and that was just like that to not rattle around in transit, I would assume. Why don't we go ahead and take a quick peek at it? So, I think it's this way here. That does feel nice. Slips right out. There's our penny on our nickel. Ooh, we have a loose screw. I don't know if that's a big problem or not. I can hear a ticking. It's very, very slow. The ticking is. We got a loose screw there. I know this one kind of comes down on a hinge, but I want to do some, uh, some investigation before I go any further into this. The original hammer tone paint. Let's see if that shows off very well. It's just magnificent on the inside. Um, this thing definitely hasn't been restored and is just in fantastic shape. Um, if you know anything about these meters, I'd love to know more about it. I know it was the Vogelsong Company out of Emory, California. Is that where it says on the back? 
Emeryville, California. Yeah. Had to take a, had to jump on this one while I had a chance to get it. So there's the Vogel song. And I think I will save for a different video actually opening it up and going through what it looks like inside. Um, I'm almost afraid to do any sort of service to this with the Model 50s. And the observant of you may have noticed, I'm going to move this, a whole bunch of Model 50 timers. All those are going out in a package tomorrow, sent to one guy, but to work on those, you know, I'm not all that worried about wor working on the Model 50s because I have some extra parts. Man, if I were to break anything on this, I don't think I'd ever forgive myself. So this slips in like that, and then turns like that, nice and tight, jeez. I'll put that back in later, but there we go, and just barely hear it ticking. It must have a really slow, uh, a really slow action to the clock. But super excited to get in there and take a look at this. I have myself a Vogel song. Decided that at the price I got it, I mean they only go up, right? It's not like they're making any more of these. So unless somebody finds a, you know, a storage locker full of them or anything, it's going to hold its value. So really happy to have it. I'm really interested to go in here and I will. Definitely make videos to show off what I learn about this as I go through it. So uh, thanks for watching. Drop a comment if you know anything about these. Uh, email and my eBay store where I sell parking meter parts as well as all sorts of other stuff that I get from auctions and estate sales are down uh, in the video's description. So you can get a hold of me that way. Um, even if you're not looking to buy something just to talk shop, uh, love to chat with other people about meters and their collections and the things that they know and the stuff that they particularly look for. Um, and I'm always looking to buy parts, uh, broken clocks, broken timing mechanisms, especially out of the Duncan Miller 50, which is the one that I like the most. So uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.